Hey guys, welcome to Made for Two. I am Topless Baker. Now today, what we're gonna be making is a cheesecake. But this is not any old cheesecake. We're gonna make this beautiful vanilla cheesecake that has a pink ombre running through it. It is spectacular and it is so easy to do. So we're gonna start with a biscuit base. I love a biscuit base for a cheesecake, but you could use a chocolate cookie. I'm just using like a normal biscuit like that. And I'm gonna smash it up and then I'm gonna add in some melted butter and stir that together. So you just want to bash this just to get out any of those big lumps and get a nice, fine, even crumb. Once you're happy with that, pour in your butter straight into the middle and then give it a good stir with a spoon until everything is coated in that glorious butter. Now this is my favorite part. I could probably give up on this recipe now and just eat the buttery biscuits, but I won't. There's more beauty to come. So what I've got here is ring molds to put our cheese in. If you don't have ring molds, you just need anything kind of loose bottom so you can pop the cheesecake out at the end because otherwise you're not gonna be able to get it out. So take this biscuit mixture and split it evenly between the two ring molds, flatten it down, and then we're gonna put it in the fridge while we make the cheesecake mixture. We're gonna get on with the cheesecake filling now. And this cheesecake filling is a no bake and it's gonna set with gelatin. The reason we use gelatin is because if we bake the cheesecake, what will happen is in the oven, that heat will discolor the cheesecake. And we want it to be a beautiful pink, vibrant color. If we put it in the oven and it turns brown, it's not gonna look good. So take your gelatin and put it in some cold water and let that kind of bloom. And then we're gonna heat up some milk just until it's hot and then I'm gonna drain that gelatin and whisk it in. Okay, so my milk gelatin mixture is done. In the meantime, I just whisked together my cream cheese, vanilla, and sugar. And what I'm gonna do now is pour this milk mixture over the cream cheese and sugar. And again, I'm just gonna whisk this together until it's nice and smooth and combined. The final element to this cheesecake is a little bit of cream. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna whisk this cream to soft peaks, and I'm gonna fold it through that mixture that we just made. And that's gonna add a really nice lightness and texture to the cheesecake. So whip it to soft peaks, and then I'm just gonna really gently fold that through. Now that we've got our cheesecake mixture, the next step is quite important to your ombre. So I'm gonna explain it a little bit. So what we need to do is divide this by three because we're gonna have a white, a dark pink, and a light pink to our ombre. So I'm gonna split this mixture between the three bowls. And I'm gonna adjust the weights a little bit and make sure you've got the weights on the Food Network website so you can check them out so you can get it exactly right. But I'm gonna split this up, add pink coloring to two of them, and then we're gonna start pouring. Finished making my cheesecake mixture and I've let that sit for about 10 minutes. And the reason I've done that is I need that gelatin to activate. I need that mixture to thicken a little bit. So that's a really important step. And now I've taken my biscuit bases out of the fridge and we're gonna start pouring. So I'm gonna pick up my white mixture and I'm just gonna pour that in evenly between the two molds. Once I've filled that up, I'm then gonna add my dark pink and it should form this lovely little circle once I've filled that up. Add your light pink just into the middle, and then you've got your circle ombre is nearly finished. Once you've finished with your circles of pink, you could just leave them like that. They look super fancy, but I'm gonna take it one step further. I'm gonna kind of bleed the colors together. So I'm gonna take a toothpick, and I'm gonna kind of flick through them, flick back, flick around, just to kind of meld them together, and then I'm gonna stick them in the fridge for about three hours. If you can leave them overnight, even better, but when they come out, they'll be ready to eat. So my cheesecakes have been in the fridge overnight and I've removed the ring molds. I'm kidding, I, I made another batch and these are just ready to go, but they still look amazing. Look at the design on them. They are so pretty. And now all I've got to do is bite into them. They look absolutely delicious, here we go. Yes, mm. so much vanilla, that butter, the texture from the biscuit. Oh, it's just a great cheesecake and it looks amazing. Right, I really hope you guys enjoyed this one. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up, leave a comment and subscribe to the Food Network YouTube channel. I will see you guys for more Made for Two very soon. Bye!